welcome to this week's Swarf and Chip. Today we're at Engineering Data in France to look at the innovative solutions for automation, zero point and work hold. And I'm joined by Matt Jeunesse. Yeah, I'm really excited. So come on, let's go. Let's go and see it. Come on, Chris. So Matt, why are we here today at Engineering Data in France? Well, I'm here to show you and the, and the UK viewers about Engineering Data's amazing automa automotive products. Um, over here, we've got this amazing six axis robot cell called the Easy Product LX88. It can run CNC laves, it can run CNC mills. You can have up to six machines on it, it's amazing. Well, I can see the palletization at the back there. I think the camera can just get in and start looking at that. Um, so is this feeding uh, milling machines and laves? And tell me about the palletization side of this and how it would change from grippers, Matt, to, to, to like load billets and to, to palletize. Well, as you can see on the far, you've got the shelves with all the, uh, the different pallets. So, and that over there is replicating a CNC machining center, a milling machine. So these pallets will load onto that machining center. And then over here, you've got all the, the parts in this, in this box here. And these parts will be loaded with the grippers onto the CNC lathe chuck, which you can see here. So, so this is a complete cell. This is representing different machine tools. So the chuck is representing so a lathe. So lathe, yeah. Um, the the um, zero point station is representing right, yeah, yeah. a milling machine. That's right. And then you've just got your loading station, station over here. And then you've got your your amazing intuitive, um, which will be in English, obviously, um, for the customer. This can be learned in a day. It's brilliant. It will talk to any machine tool in the market. So, Matt, six-axis robot yep. that can feed laves. It can be palletized. It can, it can feed milling machines. But That's the right. programming is very simple, you say? It's very simple. They say you can learn it within a day. It's within that a day. simple, yeah. So this is just simple. one of many solutions that they offer at Engineering Data. Yep. There's another solution now, Matt, that we're going well, to we look go at, over, which yeah. is the Easy Easy Box. The Easy Box, and that works on a, a three-axis robot. We can start over here with the uh, the first incarnation of the of the Easy Box. We're running. We've got 100 k kg pallets here. Again, three-axis robot running um, large CNC machines and so on. And the Easy Prod is an evolution of this. That's right, yeah. The well, Easy Prod is the six-axis robot. This is the three-axis robot. You can see the, what, what I believe will be the future, or to begin with, is you've got the Easy Box T30 over here. So this tell me about this. is a great design because it can work on any existing three-axis CNC machine or any new five axis CNC machine. The T30 stands for 30 kilo, 30 kilogram payload, and you've got 42 pallets, and using the, their own zero point system, it's very quick to change over your pallets to keep your existing machine running unmanned overnight. It's brilliant. Well, what really stands out to me for this particular solution is the small footprint map, and this won an innovation award. That's right, it won an innovation award purely down to the fact that it's only two meters square. So you can get 42 pallets in two meters square, which is incredible. Tell me about the interfacing with different machine tools. You mentioned it can be used for legacy machines as well as That's new right. machines, but tell me about the interface and also um, the software again. So the software is, was designed by engineering data themselves. So it's their own software. They're not paying any, any duties or fares to anyone else. They designed the software to work with, uh, it'll work with Mazatrol, it'll work with Fanuc, with Heidenhain, with Haas. It'll work with any, they can make it work with any machine tool company. So very simple to interface with a machine That's tool. That's right. Never, no, never mind what type. This is a fifth axis machine, yep. but also can be incorporated onto a three axis. That's right. It can, you can work on any three axis, a 20 year old three axis machine up to the state of the art single pallet five axis. Very machine. impressive, Matt. Let's move on. Come on, Chris, um, come on. Now, they've got many solutions. Now we're going to look at another solution here, which is part of the easy prod range. This is the, yeah. um, talk us through this, Matt. 
So the Easy Prod range is designed for CNC lathes. As you can see here, we've got a six axis robot. You can load your billets uh, into like a pallet system and the robot will pick and place your parts. And this, this pick and place option here, Matt, is this yep. all, it, w does this work all in conjunction with the zero point? That's right, yeah, that's right. It will pick your parts and place it into the chuck. The chuck will grip it, away you go. And I believe on this particular application, they're practicing what they're, they're preaching. Yeah. They're actually making pots for their zero point fixtures. That's right, they're making the easy, easy plugs here. And this really leads us nicely to our final destination, yep. which is the work holding and the zero point. So That's let's right. go and, and, and find out more. On our left here, Matt, we looked at this earlier. They're also yeah. manufacturing and supplying bespoke uh, engineered solutions. That's right. These are a massive zero point uh, solutions. You can see the actual zero point plates being made over here. Yes, I mean, very impressive, Matt. You can see, very impressive. And you can actually move on to this next one here, Chris, where you can actually see where the, the zero point uh, parts are being incorporated. They're actually into being this fitted plate. into the base plate, as you see. So this is a bespoke solution, Matt, but yep. let's have a look at some of the standard um, solutions that are also available. There's so much to look at. It doesn't feel like we've I actually know, got crazy. enough time. So I mean, I you can see all the tombstones to along here, all the vice bodies along here, all the different vices that they do all the different tombstones that they later incorporate into the zero point systems, which you can see here. So they do, we can do any sorts of cubes, tombstones, triangles, you name it, we can do it. So perfect for horizontal machining. Yep. It will also incorporate the vices that they offer, which we can see further down the line here. But before we get to the vices, we can look at some of the gripper options that are available. Yeah, so you've got some of the, the gripper options here. And this is an these. interesting gripper option. This is for the zero point That's uh, right. gripper yeah, option yeah. to load the pallets. To load the pallets. This is what you see on all the, all the easy box solutions. They use this to actually grip the pallets, to pick them up and move them. Now the, the, the centric grippers. Now these, these are a new design actually. This is a pneumatic vices, you, you can see. And again, this works well with all um, robotic solutions. Will you still be selling microlock micro -lock in the UK? Does this kind of um, interfere with your current business? No, I don't believe it does, because obviously microlock is more for three-axis machines and um, horizontal machines. Um, on five-axis, ultimately, you need self-centering vices to work around the center of the five-axis spindle. Um, so I see a massive market for these. Um, they're really incredible. The price is good, and... Um, I see a big market for them. So it yeah. really complements your range. It complements Microlock, yes. And we've got another selection of centric grippers here, but we're also now moving into the zero point solutions too, that, that, that really lends itself really to palletization and automation. What kind of growth for automation do you see in the UK market? And how excited are you really um, to be working alongside engineering data and representing their product portfolio in the UK? Well, I'm really excited because uh, Engineering Data, as you can see, are a very forward-thinking com company. Their products are, are innovative, and I see a massive growth potential in the UK market for these products. You've got these um, the zero-point systems here, but these can be put together onto a really big machine table, and by having these intersections here, that's how you can actually program which ones you want to open and shut. We've got the big vices, pneumatic vices on top. Incredible products. They're thought of everything, Matt. It's they very have. versatile. It's very flexible. It's very innovative. And I think it's going to have a big impact in the UK market. So watch this space. This will certainly keep the spindles turning it will in definitely. the UK. As we always mention on Swarf and Chips, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. Time. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Chris.